Thank you so much for joining me today. We are going to do a quick and simple t-shirt design today. And I love this one because of the message. And to me, that just goes back to making sure that whatever t-shirt design you create, as long as, as it resonates with someone, it is going to be easier to get them to buy the shirt because they can relate. So for this particular design, we're going to start with elements. Remember that we, when we um, choose our dimensions, we do 2000 by 2000 pixels. Um, but be sure, and like if you're doing print on demand, be sure to use their recommended dimensions. So I'm going to start off with this square shape and I'm actually going to make this into a rectangle. I think that size is good. I'm just going to stretch it out until I see this purple box on both sides. There we go. And I'm going to copy and paste that two times, but before I move to the next one, I want to make sure that this space is very thin. I think that's good. Then I'm going to copy and paste it again and just making sure that it is centered. And I'm just using my arrows to move it as close as possible. I think that looks about the same, maybe a little bit more. All right, that looks good. Now I'm just going to center it for the whole page. And then I'm going to choose my colors. Now, for this particular design, let me see. I think it's this one. Um, I use coolers to choose my color palette. And if you have not try it coolers i definitely recommend it we've um used it in a tutorial before so basically with coolers why is this not doing that i don't know <laughs> they um have so many color palettes they actually tell you which ones are trending and i love that because i know choosing the correct color palette is sometimes difficult so they make it so much easier you can even type in keywords like Christmas or warm summer and they will bring up all the colors associated with that all right my mouse is acting weird <laughs> um let's see this green, I think that green is good. I kind of like this one. But we'll stick with the first one. Um, let me see this. We'll stick with that one. Alright. That looks good. I like it. So... The next thing, and I'm going to stay in the elements tag, and you can see I have already typed in texture. And let's see, I'm going to click on graphics because I just want a graphic to show up. And this is actually the one that I'm going to use. I'm going to turn it to the side. A little bit more. There we go. And I'm just going to stretch it out just beyond those rectangles a little bit more because I kind of want this to overlap Let's see.
So I might do three boxes. So I'm going to change this to white. And I'm basically doing this because I want to create that like retro look. I I myself love those retro shirts, vintage, whatever you want to call it. I love them. Like they are really nice. If I could have been born in a different time, I would have loved it. <laughs> so I'm just going to bring this over and it's okay for them to overlap because it's actually like right here I can see there's a line right there which is totally fine but when it overlaps it kind of takes it away and I'm going to flip this one just so it's not uniform I don't want it to look uniform I want it to look like everything is totally random if that makes sense and then let's see now I'm going to add my text and I'm just doing add a heading. I'm actually going to use this same font. I'm going to type in learn, click on the three dots and the lowercase and uppercase A. So it will change all the letters to uppercase. And I'm just going to resize this just a little bit more. I think my rectangle should have been a little bit bigger, but it's fine. Kind of want to make sure that it is centered on this peach colored one and i'm going to change the font now normally i would change the color to white because that's the background but since i'm going to put this on top of a mock-up i'm going to choose this and it's almost similar <laughs> to white but it's not. I mean, I could tell the difference. It looks like a gray, almost bluish white. Um, And that's just so once it's added to the mock-up, it looks realistic. Like the shirt, like I personally had the shirt and I took a picture of it myself. All right. So I'm going to add that to the next rectangle bring this out just so I can make sure that everything is aligned properly. I'm going to paste that one more time and type my last word and then I'm going to move it over just a bit. Okay, that looks good. Learn to unlearn. And I just love this because I just feel like in our world, we just learn so much stuff, whether it's through our parents, through society, or something that we have taught ourselves that was not true. And as an adult, we get the option to learn how to unlearn those things and replace them with better things. So I feel like this message set well with me so that's why i created it all right so that is pretty much it you know make sure that it's it looks good on the mock-up and as you can see the white it it actually look blends in with this white mock-up even though it was like a bluish grayish white it was perfect for this mock-up and then I guess the other thing, I mean, if you want it, you can use the transparency to lighten it up. And then the next thing you would do is go to download, change this to PNG, and then select your page. 72 is mine. And then if you wanted just the design by itself, make sure you check transparent background. So it will just show the design and nothing in the background, no white space, nothing. It's perfect for my cups. So I hope this helps. I hope that you like the message as much as I do. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at DS. 
if you haven't already, be sure to click some of the links in our description box. We be having good stuff. Y'all don't want to miss out now. And other than that, have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy this Black Friday. Hopefully y'all shopping online because avoid the people. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, thank you so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time.